Have you ever heard of the story of Burke and Hare, the infamous body snatchers of Scotland? It all started in 1823, when the Judgment of Death Act drastically reduced the number of crimes punishable by death in Great Britain. At the time, medical schools were only allowed to dissect the bodies of executed prisoners. The Judgment of Death Act led to an extreme shortage of dead bodies available. This shortage led to an increase in demand, with medical schools willing to pay more money to get bodies for research. The fresher the body, the higher the price tag. Grave robbing quickly evolved into murder. William Hare and William Burke from Edinburgh, Scotland, developed a friendship and quickly an interest in this quote-unquote industry. William Hare ran a boarding house, as illustrated here. In 1827, Old Donald, one of his tenants, passed away. Upon his death, he still owed four pounds for rent. The two saw Old Donald's body as a way to pay off this debt. They took his body to the medical school at Edinburgh University, where Professor Robert Knox, an anatomy lecturer, paid them seven pounds and ten shillings for his body. In order to avoid suspicion, the duo weighed Old Donald's coffin down with tanning bark to create the illusion that his body was in there. In 1828, another tenant named Joseph became ill. The pair saw this as another opportunity. Wanting to ensure Joseph would perish from his sickness, they plied him with whiskey and suffocated him to death. In this way, the body was left unmarked and undamaged. Suffocation became their main method of execution. The duo established a business relationship with Dr. Knox and began a murder spree, luring prostitutes, elders, and impoverished individuals into the lodging house. Suspicions were raised when medical students recognized the bodies of three prostitutes, including Mary Patterson. Burke and Hare even murdered a famous children's entertainer, James Wilson, who had a foot deformity. Dr. Knox accepted Wilson's body and denied recognizing it, despite swiftly removing and discarding his head and deformed foot. Eventually, a couple staying in the lodge on Halloween 1828 caught the pair red-handed. After leaving some belongings in a spare room, James and Anne Gray went to go gather the things when they discovered the dead body of Margaret Campbell Doherty, a distant relation of Burke's mother, under the bed. Hare and Burke offered them a bribe of £10 a week to keep the discovery a secret, but the couple refused and reported the murder to the police. On Christmas Day, 1828, Burke was charged with the murders of Mary Patterson, James Wilson, and Margaret Doherty. He was sentenced to death and hanged at Lawn Market on January 28, 1829, in front of a crowd of 25,000 people. His body was donated to medical science. His skeleton is on display in the Surgeon's Hall in Edinburgh. Despite Hare's obvious involvement, he was in prison for a little over a month until his release in February 1829. It is believed that the pair murdered 16 individuals between 1827 and 1828. As for Dr. Knox, he was cleared of involvement, but his reputation was left in ruins, so he moved to London to start fresh. The Anatomy Act of 1832 increased body donations for medical science, ending body snatching in Scotland.